Let's talk social media. It's something we've discussed at length on this program. Richard and I struggling as social media, uh, or reforming social media phobes, I guess it's probably fair to are say. Are you guys social media 101? Are you, you're not quite there yet? Do you know you? what? No, I d- there, there are elements of it I really like. The Facebook thing, I don't, I don't really, if I'm really honest, I don't get how to use Facebook. Um, and I did try and I got fed up with it. But Twitter, I really like for breaking news and stuff, and I'm on the record with that. Richard is kind of into his Twitter as well. I know, uh, Esther, you're a big Facebook person, I mean personal for personal oh, use, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Okay. Uh, fair to say. Yeah, is, I've got to get my Twitter uh, I'm not quite m- uh, active in the Twitter You've got to get yet. your Twitter groove yeah, on yeah, haven't yeah, you? I really do, yeah, because I have lots to say you know that. Uh, oh, I have noticed <laughs> 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 I've noticed that over the course of the last what seems like a century. Richard, come back soon <laughs> Be nice now, be nice. I will But there's a new report out today, is there not? There is, there's a new report from um, the international company Vision Critical, and they've actually published a study called From Social to Sale so really, when we're looking at social media, we need to look at the impact on the economy, the impact on business. And that's where they're really finding that about 40% of social media users have actually purchased an item after sharing it or favoring it. Um, it's an American word, favoriting it. Uh, never mind, anyway. But again, Facebook is the network most likely to drive customers to become purchasers. Isn't that quite interesting? And social media drives not just online purchasing, but in-store purchasing. So people actually get up and uh, off they go and they buy. So that's, uh, that's what the, uh, from social to sale, that's what the report's saying. But with us here in the studio, I'm absolutely delighted to have the founder and CEO of Manar Media, Tahani Karar Loosley, with us. And um, Tahani, you have, uh, you're the expert here in the region too on social media. But uh, tell us, how important is it that companies and businesses actually embrace social media? Well, it's vital. Any business worth its salt these days really has to have an active presence on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. There are other channels, but if I had to say four main channels that you should do well, it would be those four. Now, when I hear about business, um, moving business on Facebook, I can sort of understand it when it comes to, you know, flowers, maybe the latest trendy Um, outfit or food or something like that, perhaps. But Facebook is seemingly becoming a real business tool. Definitely, with uh, promoted sp- with, with promoted stories, sponsored stories, um, adverts uh, for for marketers and for businesses, um, it's very uh, cost effective just to take out a Facebook ad. You can target your demographic according to age, location, gender, wh- whatever you wish, interests, and just put an ad out there, and it will just go like wildfire. And, and you can see right in front of you how many people are clicking, how many people are responding to your ads, how many people you're driving either to your website or to your Facebook ch- to your Facebook page, and um, ultimately making that sale. It's interesting, Tahani, because I'm not a Facebook user, so let's take me or people like me as an example. Let's not hope there are too many, uh, first of all. But if you don't use Facebook... Uh, but you, you know, you're interested in social media. You get that the, there is a relevance there. How do you target people effectively? Facebook. It's very easy to understand how things can become viral. Adverts can become viral. Mm. Uh, advertisers get immediate response and understand exactly who they're targeting. That's great. We get that. But if you're not on Facebook, how are you going to target people? A lot of people in your demographic, between 35 to 44, usually married with kids. You, you guys, are, you're the largest. You have the largest number of social joiners on Facebook. Mm. So even though today you might not be on Facebook, it doesn't mean tomorrow you won't be on Facebook. My grandmother um, is. We've just converted her onto Facebook, and right. it's a fantastic way for us to stay in touch, even though she's in the UK. So there's a lot. There's a lot, you know, to Facebook, not just for business, but also for personal connections. We are living in a globalized world where, through Facebook, it just connects everyone together. But coming back to the business angle of that, you're saying, yes, it's going to drive business and that. But sometimes, uh, particularly on the advertising side, will it not just drive you insane and drive you to the point where you're going, enough, enough? And it's very much about, I think, when you're even on the website and you're trying to read something and an ad pops up, there's nothing more irritating than the advertising side of it. So how do you control it, contain it, um, or is it just about making your advertising so tempting that we're all going to want to watch it? Well, yes, definitely good content is essential. You do not want to be putting out a bad ad or, you know, constant pop-ups. But with Facebook, it's very subtle. The adverts are just on the right-hand corner, so they're not Mm. blocking you. It's not like you have to watch an ad if you want to access your Facebook or contact one of your friends. It's very, it's done very subtly, and it's also done in a way that it just targets people that are likely interested in that product. We're seeing a lot of uh, uptake uh, on social media here from many of the companies. I mean, 
many of the big companies here, they're all using social media in some way or another. Mm. Do they need to get more organized in terms of how they use their social media? It's not really just about the fact they can access Twitter, they can access yes. Facebook and just throw out whatever they feel like just because yes. they can. Definitely. Um, unfortunately, from what I see in this region is a lot of the big companies don't feel it's important to be on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. And that's the biggest mistake ever because their market is now on Facebook. Facebook is a billion people. People plus. It's the third most populous country after China and India. Um, so a lot of these companies who claim to be professional, um, if they are on Facebook and you go into their Facebook page, you'll obviously see that they haven't really invested on having a professional Facebook page. Um, a lot of the time they have uh, very junior people who aren't experienced, who aren't social media marketers, uh, basically in charge of the whole page. Sometimes you have one person who's, who's in charge of managing a page, which is 93,000 fans. Um, so there still has to be, it's not just enough having a company page on Facebook, having a channel on YouTube. You have to produce that good content. And that's where a lot of these companies are falling down.